Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rich Edge Hunt. Uh, it's 50 pence time, in front of us we have a book, and a bag of 50 pences uh, from Booker again, Gloucester this time, so a different area. And we have the book out because last time around we did find ourselves the NHS. So we've got uh, three on the front page to find now, of course including the queue, and eight Olympics I think, including four of the top five. So, anyway, let's see what Gloucester has to offer us. Pick this up today, so. Let's see how we do. No, I'm not going to count them. Just about in shot there, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Let's zoom in a little bit now. Take them all out of the shop. How do we make the start? That's an old bag. Right. And we start with a 2019 shield. Now, right, Shields of Britannia's, which are the first two coins we find. Are the definitives. Um, oh, there you go. There's a Mrs. Tiggywinkle, uh, 2016 Potter. Uh, yeah, definitive coins. Um, lots of them around, but there are a few that are worth looking for. Um, if we need to talk about them, we will later. But until then, we'll just carry on. with 50 pence on it, so it's going to be a Potter. It's Tom Kitten. Another of the Potter series, of course. Another common one. Nothing else. There we go. It's a start, isn't it? Yes, it's a start. Is Benjamin Benny, the most common commemorative 50 pence of all. But there is no rotation. There is a known rotation on that one. Oh well, on that coin I should say, not on that one in particular. Worth checking for, it's worth a fair few quid. Oh, there is a Victoria Cross. The awards. That's fine. Another 
bust. Oh, it is an Olympic 2011. What have we got? Normally, that would be a cracking find. <laughs> Top five Olympic, and it's Judah. Well, it is a cracking find, no two ways about it. Unfortunately, it's the only one of the top five we already have in the book. But never mind, it's a great find. Nothing further in that fancy. Oh, that went on the floor. Can you see it? Yes. Oh, it's a shield. Yes. 2015 shield. Yeah, nothing to get excited about there. On we go then. That was in a bit of a state. Zip in that one. Oh, there's another Benjamin Bunny. No, he is fine as well. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, right. Uh, you know, I said there's some definitives you look for. Well, this is one of them. This is 2017 shield. It is the lowest minted shield in circulation. At 1.8, I think it's 1.8 million. Or is it 1.7? Anyway, it's the lowest minted 50 pence of that year. Oh, there is 100 years of scouting. Um, and hence collectible to some and deemed as above face value. Um, Britannia, as you can look for 2008, that is a relatively low mint, well, it's the lowest minted year for Britannia's, and it is a relatively low minted, I suppose, uh, 8 point something million, 8.3 maybe. So yeah, but I have plenty of those, so unless Britannia jumps out at me, as being in extremely nice condition, I don't actively look for them. I have more than a few, so no more. Shields, on the other hand, um, there are years where none. Oh, there's Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Another of the 17 potters. Um, yeah, there will years where no shields were minted for circulation. And there is the Taylor Peter Rabbit, completing the 2017 set. Now, it's not often I do that these days. But uh, anyway, yeah. Oh, that is, oh, it was, was taped. Just hanging on. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, these these years when none were minted for circulation, they were minted for uh, collector sets. Oh. Sherlock Holmes. And there's another 2017 behind it. This time, it's another Taylor Peter Rabbit. Um... They were minted for collector sets and the like, so they can, and do occasionally, turn up in circulation. To collectors, they are hen's teeth, basically. Oh, another Olympic! 
It's a rather grotty one, but it is a box in. Do we need a box in? Yes, we do. Excellent. One for the book. Um, yeah, I totally lost the plot now. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, the years to look for is Shields. 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and 2021. All those years, there will be no, should be no shields in the change you find. So if you do, you've got a cracking find on your hands. Well done to you. You've made yourself a couple of quid or a very nice addition to your collection. Whichever way around you would do it. There we go. Well, it's, it is still quite a slim hunt, isn't it? But it's a slim hunt with some very nice finds. So I'll take that any day of the week. Slowly now. Oh, oh. Eight bags. Mm -hmm. Eight after this one. So still every chance of something else turning up as well. Benjamin Bunny. No rotation error. Oh. Well, there's a Beatrix Potter anniversary. Low level keeper, that one. Yep. Still a nice sign. Paddington, Paddington at the Cathedral, 2019, another pretty common one, oh, 2020, it's the Brexit, another Paddington, at the cathedral. Nothing else. Twenty twenty two. Surprise.
Nothing to feel at all. Celebration of the four minute mile. Came good this in the end, didn't it? So, decent hunt after all. It wasn't encouraging at the start, let's be honest. Another four minute mile. Nothing else. Almost three bags. What we have here, she's a rabbit. Another of those low level keepers. Should I keep it? I don't know. Some do, some don't. Johnson's Dictionaries. Just about being shot. Yeah. That is probably going to be the last commemorative because this is the final bag. Well, you know what? I'm happy with that. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? A judo and a boxing. When one of them is needed for the book, that's always a plus. Um, what I was going to say earlier was Benjamin Bunnies. Um, I am going to be signing some to go back into circulation. Now, as you may or may not know, the ones I put into circulation are used to sign in black. Um, black Sharpie thin um so i thought well new coin provider new pens so blue will be the color of the next set of benjamin bunnies of mine going into circulation good luck thanks for watching guys I'll see you all on the next hunt. Bye for now.